we officially saw Carlos Correa joining the Minnesota Twins. And it was hard seeing it actually happen. It's one thing to see the contract broken by Mark Berman on Twitter. It's another thing to see Carlos Correa smiling in a Twins uniform. The Astros released a statement. Here it is from Jim Crane, owner and chairman of the Houston Astros. On behalf of the entire Astros organization, I want to personally wish Carlos and his family the best as he joins the Twins organization. Carlos has been an integral part of this team, both on and off the field. His leadership, his character, and his commitment to this community are what make Carlos a very special person. He will forever be one of the great Astros players, a great representative of the Astros organization, and a great representative of the city of Houston. We are sincerely thankful for all he has given to the Astros family. While we are disappointed, disappointed, we'll get back to that. Carlos is no longer with the Astros. We wish him tremendous success with his new club and in this next chapter of his career. The Minnesota Twins in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area are fortunate to be getting such a quality person. Carlos Daniela and his family will be missed throughout Houston. We thank them for everything they have done to make the Astros and this community better. We look forward to celebrating them and welcoming Carlos back to Minute Maid Park in August when we face the Twins. Damn, we got to wait until August for that. Interesting comments, huh? And GL Ranger, 1245, don't worry. We will get to the Tyreek Hill trade because he is now a member of the Miami Dolphins. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, Stone Jam 206, the Houston sports star landscape has changed over the last couple of years. Oh, yeah, Jesus. I mean, let's just go through all the guys who have left. First off, Chris Paul. Second, no one really cared this much about that, but uh, that much about this. But Russell Westbrook from the Rockets. James Harden from the Rockets. For the Astros, Garrett Cole, George Springer, now Carlos Correa. And for the Houston Texans, DeAndre Hopkins, J.J. Watt, Deshaun Watson. It's weird. I mean, I was gone two years and a couple of months. I come back, and just about everyone that I covered is gone. Just about everyone. It's depressing. You want to build a relationship, and you want to see these guys for a long period of time. Sicarius 23, typical Houston sports team doing typical Houston sports team things, also known as dumb. Well, that's why we will get back to this part of the Astros statement and why the Astros look worse today. While we are disappointed Carlos is no longer with the Astros, we wish him tremendous success. How disappointed really are they? Now, if you've been paying attention to me on the Vanessa and Gallant radio program or you've listened to a previous episode of this podcast, you probably saw that John Granado, my co-worker at ESPN 97.5, my former TV show co-host, had reported that the Astros essentially ghosted Carlos Correa during the last week. That they just didn't respond to, I guess, any texts that Scott Boris, that Carlos Correa, sent the Astros way. I figured this meant over a week. But we found out today at Carlos Correa's press conference with the Minnesota Twins this. We didn't hear from them. That's all I can say. He didn't hear from them when the lockout ended. And it makes me wonder if he had heard from the Astros at all during the lockout period. Look, I, 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 I think that that was an easy to match contract that Minnesota gave Correa. I think that Correa would have 100% given Houston the opportunity to match and we'd be in the right exact spot that we're in right now going into next offseason, trying to figure out where Carlos Correa is going to go, if the Astros are actually going to sign him to a long-term deal. But they didn't even talk to him at all, and now Carlos Correa is confirming it. I mean, shit, a quarter of a year you don't hear from him? I get it. Like There was a deal on the table that the Astros had given earlier. I think it was... For five years and 160 million prior to the lockout, but Correa was thinking, "I'm getting 203 million. I'm going at least 300 million dollars. 300 million dollars." Heisenberg 25 asks, "Wow, did they really ghost him? I mean, 
Based off of what Correa said at his press conference, the way he acted at his press conference, the few words he said at his press conference, yeah, I think it's 100% fair to make that assumption. So, Correa leaving looks worse, and Jeremy Pena, good fucking luck. Let's shift. Big story of the day in sports, and it's going to lead to the question that I have asked in the comments section and you can also uh, check it out on, on Twitter at Galant Says. Uh, Sicarius23, lowballing, banking off loyalty. I know. And I mean, he's shown you enough loyalty. Did you not see him? Staring down that camera with Ken Rosenthal saying, hey, Cody Bellinger, you stupid fuck. Didn't say it like that. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about when the Astros were accused of cheating. That guy has shown you I think more loyalty than you'll probably ever see from an Astros player because a lot of these guys wanted to keep their head down. Correa stood up, got out of the trench, and ran right into all of the fire that people were throwing at him. And you know what? Like Whether you like him or not, you thought it was annoying or not, I mean, the guy's got tremendous balls to do something like that. And what, what, what did you show him? You don't, even, you don't even talk to him at the end? 